Welcome to Wolf Center, I'm Austin Marshall. So far it has been a cold and wet spring, but that has not stopped East Lake Sports from hitting the fields and courts to compete in an inspiring display of mental toughness. Starting out with male soccer, analyst Tyler Wilbert is currently in police custody for undisclosed reasons, so I will be handling the soccer coverage tonight. After struggling with their non-conference schedule, the Wolves are tied with Issaquah for first in the Kinko Crest Division. Both teams hold a league record of 3-1. and one. The Wolves' only Kinko loss came against the rival Redmond Mustangs. Redmond scored a late goal from 40 yards out to take a 2-1 lead and held on to win the match. Junior Renato Bandera, who also goes by Rodrigo, currently leads the team in goals alongside senior Amir Shabana. Amir told Wolf Center, I'm just trying to be an explosive presence out there and hopefully inspire the rest of the team so we can avoid losses like the one at Redmond. This week sees the Wolves facing Garfield and Issaquah. Moving to baseball, the team is sitting with a 5-5 five five overall record at the halfway point of the season. The Wolves have been struggling with offensive production, but have recently seen signs of improvement, scoring 17 runs in their past two games. On Wednesday, the team played Eastside Catholic, who are currently ranked first in the state for 3A. The Wolves triumphed 12-1 behind junior pitcher Nick Hooper making his first varsity start, and 7'6", 90-pound junior Joe Schaefer, who closed the game. Nick Andrews and Michael Russo also homered in the win. Senior Nicholas Smith currently leads the team in hitting with an on-base percentage of 537 and a 414 batting average. This week, the Wolves face Woodenville, Ballard, and Roosevelt. Softball currently holds a 1-1 one -one conference record. Their most recent game saw the Lady Wolves matching up against the Kinko leading Lady Mustangs of Redmond. Unfortunately, Redmond's ace pitcher Erica Hendren was too much for the Wolves to handle, pitching a shutout 3-0 victory. Interestingly enough, she is currently dating Eastlake Baseball's number one starter, Brennan Menninger. Isn't that cute? Eastlake seniors Laura Bachman and Serena Norris had the team's only hits of the game. The Lady Wolves match up against Issaquah and Newport this week. Girls tennis still possesses an undefeated record with victories against Bothell, Lake Washington, Garfield, and Roosevelt. Underclassman Chelsea Suji, sister of Brent, is currently the team's number one player. Senior captain Alicia Gregg told Wolf Center, We've had some trouble with rain and wet courts. Whenever it starts raining on match days, I just want to clobber the person closest to me. In other Alicia Gregg news, her Invisible Children Club is hosting a Displace Me at Eastlake this Friday night. So sign up at lunch. Track and Field had their first meet last week. Standout performances were notched by Paul Cupsis, Paul Wright, Jeff Sloat, Pat Gallagher, Jordan Brunner, Elizabeth Shophut Queen Kirsten, Julia Bicknell, Lindsay Elston, Natalie Lambert, Haley O'Connor, Megan Batty, and Chelsea Orr. There are way too many events for me to mention, so for more information on each of these athletes, visit seattletimes.com for specific meet results. The next meet will be held Thursday at Eastlake. Girls Golf has seen success thus far with a 3-0 record in matches against Inglemore, Issaquah, and Garfield. Captains are seniors Hannah Ostick and Caitlin Jackson. Sources familiar with the team noted that key players so far have been freshman Megan Witherspoon, the sister of former Eastlake golfer Alex Witherspoon, as well as sophomore Dana Medland and junior Emmy Schwartz. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Make sure you tune in Monday, May 18th for the special finale episode of Wolf Center. Featuring guest appearances by Eastlake Sports stars, a look ahead at athletics in the 09-010 school year, and even a surprise musical performance. See you then.